Hello and welcome to ClickCentral.com. Um, today we're going to talk about flagging the latest record or records um, within the script and doing that using Apply Map. So we've got some basic data, but it's in Excel format for now. So we've got a date, dimension, um, and a value. Um, just looking through the dates for each one, for each dimension, and I've just sort of highlighted which one is the latest uh, record for each dimension. So the 4th of January is the latest value for North. 10th of value, well, 10th is actually the latest overall, but the 10th is the latest value for south, east, and west, respectively. So what I want to do is create a flag within Click, click View, uh, which basically looks a little bit oops, uh, like that. So we know what the latest results were, or the latest comments, or the latest whatever it might be, um, which has come up quite a lot in the world that I do. So, I'm going to take this data here, um, using a very simple concat sort of function within Excel, we can create um, a set of values here, which is very easy then to copy into click view for an inline load. I use this technique all the time. It makes it very much more simpler than typing them all in. Um, and we'll just sort of load um, the data there to begin with, just so we've got it. 18 lines, okay, and we can see that there, that's perfect. So what we need to do now is, is just create this flag column. And the way that I do it with apply map is um, we will load from this table. So we'll call it uh, apply map. So we should load um, we'll do it from style first. I like to do everything first and fill in the blanks afterwards. We're loading from data. Um, we're going to load the uh, date and we're going to load uh, oof, I hate it that. there we go and dimension from data and we're going to do where we're going to actually know we're going to where close we're going to group it by dimension And then this is important, we're going to use the minimum, sorry, not the minimum date, that would be wrong, we'll be using the maximum date. That's date. Dimension. So this is going to be the apply map uh, table. I'm just going to load it for now so I can see the results. So we'll get a link on dimension, we'll just change that to dim, just so we break the links. And then a bit of OCD, there we go. Excellent. So now I've just got north, south, east, and west, and I've got the maximum date for each one. So the maximum date for each one will be 4th of January, 10th of January, 7th of January, and 5th of January. So the first one, 4th of January, is 42373. Let's just go and check that. 42373. That's perfect. So what we need from an apply map, we need a key because um, apply map works on two different columns. One is the sort of key that it's looking for, and the second column is the sort of return value that it's going to give. So we're going to combine these into a single field, a, com a composite key, as it's known. So we shall do max states, and we'll put in a delimiter in here as well. You can pick your own favourite delimiter, as my good friend Deepak will say. And dimension, as a modular key. The next one will be the return value. So we're just going to put 1 as return value. Okay, so let's load that. I always like to check things as I go. So we've got now north, east, south, west, return value one, two, three, four. Okay. Now this is a bit awkward because I would have probably loaded the apply map first um, from there to load. I shall do the final load over here. So we shall load this final data. Let's 
to get rid of that, so I click on any synthetic keys. So we're going to reload our old data again from final data, but obviously in your, it's because I'm going from an inline, you'd probably be able to do it a bit better. And if you were loading from QEDs and that kind of thing. So I'm going to load all the different um, values that I want. Date, dimension, and value. And then what we're doing now is putting a apply map in there. I always again do apply maps exactly the same way. I put my brackets in. It's two of those, two of those, and two of those. And then I fill in the gaps. So the first one is the actual map ID, which is the name of the table. Um, the second is the ID that we're going to look for, which would be exactly the same as that. However, it won't be max date, it will just be date because we're not doing a group by on this. And then the final one, just for fun, we'll put not found um, as the test flag. And we're going to change this obviously to a mapping table. So, what we're going to do, we are now looking at this apply map table. Um, the key that we're searching on is date and dimension, which will be for each one a, a date, dimension, date, dimension, date, dimension, date, dimension, date, dimension. And you'll be looking to see if it's found. Now, if you remember the actual apply map table, that didn't exist, and that didn't exist, and that didn't exist, but that did exist. So it's be turning back a one for that. In fact, doing this slightly wrong, it doesn't want to be not found, it wants to be zero. So Basically, it'll come down and say, doesn't exist, okay, return zero, doesn't exist, return zero, doesn't exist, return zero, does exist, return the one that is actually in the mapping table, which is this one, return value. Um, and that will give us the latest flag. So if we reload this, and look at this final table, we can see here, yep, the maximum value the maximum value, the maximum value, the maximum value. So the latest flags we've got in here. Now we can use that within set analysis. We can very quickly see, okay, what is the latest information? Uh, we can do all, all sorts of things with that. Um, so it's a really quick way to say we've got lots of information um, and we need to know which, which is the latest of each one. Okay, so that's it. Thanks very much for watching and um, hopefully that'll be useful for you and um, yeah, see you soon.